Assalamu alaikum students. This is your instructor Muhammad Umar Khatak for the subject Organizational Theory and Behavior. And this is our 32nd lecture and chapter number 12. And we'll be carrying on our discussion and adding some more contemporary theories of leadership. Transactional and Transformational Leadership Charismatic leadership theory reveals on leaders' ability to inspire followers to believe in them. In contrast, Fielder's model, situational leadership theory, and path goal theory describe transactional leaders who guide their followers towards established goals by clarifying role and task requirements. A stream of research has focused on differentiating transactional from transformational leadership who inspires followers to transcend their self-interest for the good of the organization. Transformational leaders can have an extraordinary effect on their followers, who respond with increased level of commitment. Richard Branson of the Virgin Group is a good example of transformational leader. He pays attention to the concerns and needs of individual followers changes followers' awareness of issues by helping them look at old problems in a new way, and excites and inspires followers to put forth extra effort to achieve group goals. Research suggests that transformational leaders are most effective when their follow followers are able to see the positive impact of their work through direct interaction with customers and other beneficiaries. The best leaders are transactional and transformational. Transformational leaders builds on transactional leadership and produces level of followers effort and performance beyond what transactional leaders can do. But the reverse isn't true. If you're good at transactional leader, but do not have transformational qualities, you will likely only be as mediocre leader. Full range of leadership model. Laissez faire, which literally means let it be, do nothing, is the most passive and therefore least effective of leader behavior. Management by exception, in which leaders primarily put out fires when their cr crisis exceptions to normal operating procedures mean they are often too late to be effective. Contingent reward leadership, which gives predetermined rewards for employees' effort, can be effective style of leadership, but will not get employees to go above and beyond the call of duty. As you can see in the exhibit, that it starts with laissez faire, which is the most passive and ineffective type of leadership, and then moves along in the ascending order towards idealized influence which is the most effective and also active form of leadership style. Now, laissez-faire abdicates responsibility and avoids making decisions, while then it moves towards management by exception, which intervenes only if standards are not met, and watches and searches for deviations from rules and standards, and takes corrective actions which is also a very passive and ineffective form of leadership. Then it moves towards contingent rewards. Now, this type of leadership, the contracts exchange of rewards for effort, promises rewards for good performance, and recognizes accomplishment. And these three are 
the types of transactional leadership where we are actually making a transaction with the employees in favor of their work now from that we move higher towards individualized consideration in which we give personal attention treat each employee individually and we coach and advise people of our employees and it is type of transformation leadership which is effective as well as active then it moves higher towards intellectual stimulation which promotes intelligence rationality and careful problem solving then a bit higher would be inspirational motivation which communicates high expectation uses symbols to focus effort expresses important purposes in simple ways and then we have the highest most effective and active form of leadership style known as idealized influence that style provides vision and sense of mission instills pride and gains respect and trust only with four remaining styles all aspects of transformation leadership all leaders are able to motivate followers to perform above expectations and transcend their self interest for the sake of the organization individualized consideration intellectual stimulation inspirational motivation and idealized influence known as the four eyes all result in extra effort from workers higher productivity higher morale and satisfaction higher organizational effectiveness lower turnover lower absenteeism and greater organizational adaptability based on this model leaders are generally most effective when they regularly use four eyes how transformational leadership works organization with transformational leaders generally have greater decentralization of responsibility managers with more propensity to take risks and compensation plans geared towards long term results all of which facilitate corporate entrepreneurship one study of information technology workers in china found empowering leadership behavior led to feelings of positive personal control among workers which increased their creativity at work other research in germany found that transformational leadership positively influenced workers creativity but suggested leaders need to guard against dependent leader relationship which lowered employee creativity companies with transformational leaders often show greater agreement among top managers about the organizational goals which yields superior organizational performance the israeli military has seen similar results showing that transformational leaders improve performance by building consensus among group members evaluation of transformational leadership transformational leadership has been supported at diverse job levels and occupations school principals teachers marine commanders ministers presidents of mba association military cadets union shop stewards sales representatives in general organizations perform better when they have transformational leaders For example, one study of research and development firms found teams whose project leaders scored high on transformational leadership produced better quality products as judged one year later and higher profits 5 year later.
a review of 117 studies testing transformation leadership found it was related to higher levels of individual follower performance, team performance, and organizational performance. The effect of transformation leadership on performance can vary by the situation. In general, transformation leadership has a greater impact on the bottom line in smaller, privately held firms in more complex organizations. Transformation leadership can also vary depending on whether work is evaluated at the team or at the individual level. Individuals focused on transformation leadership is behavior that empowers individual followers to develop ideas, enhance their ability, and increase self-efficacy. Team-focused transformation leadership emphasizes group goals, shared values and beliefs, and unified ever efforts. However, Research in China suggested that in team situations, the members' identification with the group could override the effects of transformation leadership. Just as vision helps explain how charismatic leadership works, it also explains part of the effect of transformation leadership. The GLOBE study links a number of elements of transformation leadership with effective leadership regardless of the country. The GLOBE team concluded that effective business leaders in any country are expected by their subordinates to provide a powerful and proactive vision to guide the company into the future and strong motivational skills to stimulate all employees to fulfill the vision, excellent planning skills to assist in implementing the vision. Although vision is important in any culture, the way it is formed and communicated may need to be adopted. Transformation leadership may be more effective when leaders can directly interact with the workforce to make decisions than when they report to an external board of directors or deal with a comp complex bureaucratic stru structure. One study showed Transformation leaders were more effective in improving group potency in teams higher in power distance and collectivism. Transformation leaders also obtain higher levels of trust, which reduces stress for followers. Transformation leaders are more effective because they are creative, but also because they encourage those who follow them to be creative. Creativity and empowerment are key to organizational success. Transformation leaders are able to increase followers' self-efficacy, giving the group a can-do spirit. One study looking at employee creativity and transformation leadership found employees with transformation leaders had more confidence in their ability to be creative at work and realized higher levels of creative, creative performance. Empowered followers are more likely to pursue ambitious goals agree on the strategic goals of their organization, and believe the goals they are pursuing are personally important. We have seen that transformation leadership yields many desirable organizational outcomes. When comparing transformation leadership with transactional leadership, research indicates transformation leadership is more strongly correlated than transactional leadership with lower turnover rates, higher productivity, lower employee stress and burnout, and higher employee satisfaction. However, transformation leadership theory is not perfect. The full range of leadership model shows a clear division between transactional and transformation leadership that may not fully exist in effective leadership. And contrary to the full range of leadership model, the four eyes of transformation leadership are not always superior in effectiveness to transactional leadership. Contingent reward leadership 
in which leaders dole out rewards as certain goals are reached by employees, sometimes work as well as transformation leadership. More research is needed, but the journal's supportable conclusion is that transformation leadership is desirable and effective, given the right application. In considering transformational and charismatic leadership, you surely notice some commonalities. There are differences too. Charismatic leadership places somewhat more emphasis on the way leaders communicate. Are they passionate and dynamic? While transformation leadership focuses more on what they are communicating. Is it a compelling vision? Still, the theories are more alike than different. At their heart, both focus on the leader's ability to inspire followers and sometimes do so in the same way. Because of this, some researchers believe the concepts are somewhat interchangeable. This is the end of the lecture. Thank you.